Hello there and welcome to your Thursday afternoon update. Now the Irish Met Service, that's Met Erin, have named Storm Hannah for Friday. It'll be tracking in from the Atlantic, bringing with it some damaging winds. But the Met Office has issued yellow warnings for strong winds across Wales as well as the West Country through the latter part of Friday and into Saturday. So here's Storm Hannah here, a real squeeze on the isobars across this southern flank. And that's the reason why the strongest winds will be across Wales and the southwest. So through Friday, we'll see as this wind picks up, gusts could reach 70 miles an hour along the coast, inland 45 to 55 miles an hour. So issues with caravans and high-sided vehicles, and there will be rain associated with it as well. But eventually, the calmer weather will move in from the west through the latter part of Saturday as this low clears towards the North Sea. For the time being, it's a rash of showers across England and Wales with the risk of thunder moving up across the southern uplands as well. You can see some rain here across the eastern side of Scotland, extending down across the central belt. It's a messy picture. However, across the far north of Scotland, you'll see some sunshine and that's where the highest temperatures will be. Fort William, Inverness, seeing a temperature of around 18 degrees Celsius. Always a few showers for Northern Ireland through the afternoon. Some brighter weather coming in across the far south later on. And here temperatures will reach around 16 degrees Celsius. Now through Thursday evening and overnight, those showers tending to die away inland. We will see some patchy showery rain moving in across Wales up towards the southwest of Scotland. But where we see some clearer skies, temperatures could dip as low as around 3 degrees Celsius in rural spots. But it will lead into a bright start on Friday morning anywhere across the northeast of Scotland, eastern Scotland as well, down towards the bulk of England. But for Wales, always more in the way of cloud. And for Cornwall as well as Devon, we will see some outbreaks of rain and a stronger wind here. And through the morning, we watch as this rain gradually moves in across Northern Ireland, Wales and the West Country, eventually reaching the southwest of Scotland. Before that, some sunshine to start the day on Friday, but that will spark off some showers across the southeastern quadrant of the country. Cloud will spill ahead of it, so by around lunchtime, we'll see that rain arriving across Liverpool and Manchester, Leeds as well, up towards York, and then reaching border regions, Dumfries and Galloway, as well as Ayrshire. That rain extends towards the western side of Scotland, as well as the Western Isles. A stronger wind here, but look at this. Some brighter skies up towards the northeast of Scotland. Temperatures then, typically, in any sunshine, you'll get a 16 degrees Celsius. But then watch towards the, the west. This is Storm Hannah affecting Ireland and it will eventually track across these parts here through Friday into Saturday. So as I said, the Met Office has issued warnings for some damaging gusts across Wales, Cornwall as well as Devon. Gusts across coastal districts up to around 70 miles an hour inland, up to 55 miles an hour. So through the early hours of Saturday morning, watch as that wet and windy weather comes in. Could see some drier conditions initially uh, on Saturday across the east here, but it will turn wet through the day. So through the day, that rain gradually tracks across England and Wales. Some brighter skies for the far north of Scotland. Always more cloud, though, for Scotland generally. You see the rain continuing to affect Northern Ireland, the Isle of Man, piling in across Wales and those strong winds. Although the warnings will go out to around 3 p.m. through Saturday afternoon, the rain will last longer as it moves towards the North Sea through the latter part of the day. So wherever you are, you will see some wet weather. The best place to be will be probably northern parts of Scotland, where temperatures won't be too bad at all, but feeling cool in the south under that cloud and rain. Bye-bye.